Hi, my friends. I've been trying to get this silly camera adjusted. Welcome back to my channel. How have you been? I have been a little under the weather. We all have, but not so much can't crochet, right? When I started feeling pretty good, then I got my crochet back out. So, folks, I wanted to come and tell you where I've been. I missed y'all, and welcome to my little corner of West Texas in my little bedroom. And everybody has been ill around here, but that doesn't stop me. Nope, nope. Yeah, we've all had the COVID. Kind of unexpected, but isn't that the way it always is? And I started, yeah, I was working on some sweaters, and I still will be. But I just wanted something new to do. Fresh. New. So I started one of those granny pullover sweaters. Where you make the two big granny squares. And you put them together. And this is going to be my first one. So I'm not really knowing what to expect. But uh, Tap Mama at the Beg Brigade. Over there on her channel. She's making quite a few of these sweaters. And she's got some for sale. So if y'all want any sweaters. Or looking for something like that. Go check her out. I think she ships anywhere in the lower 48 states. And your price, I think, includes shipping. But you'll have to make sure because I saw it on a video and I don't want to tell you wrong. So things may have changed over there. I'm not sure, but she's a wonderful lady. Tat Mama and the Beg Brigade. And she lives in Louisiana. So check her out. She's energetic, bubbly. Always has something going on over there. As well as a lot of my other friends here on YouTube. But how y'all doing? What y'all been doing? What have you been working on? How you been? Where do you live? I live here, out here in West Texas. Not too far from the New Mexico, excuse me, the New Mexico border. And my husband's from Clovis and we have family over there. And we don't make it over there as often as I wish we did. But we need to change that. When we get well over all this stuff, we need to get back to visiting our family. Because, well, life's short, right? So, stay close to your peeps, people. <laughs> right? So, the cats have been good. Oh, Oliver's asleep here on my desk. Oh, Pido is down there under my desk sleeping. And my husband got up, and he's had his coffee and a piece of fruit and his medicine, and he's gone back to bed. Yeah, we all been sick, but we're all right. We're going to beat this thing. It ain't going to get us down. We, I, myself, went to the doctor yesterday and got some specific antiviral medicine for this COVID. My husband, he was in the hospital for a, overnight. Sunday night, but he's doing better now. And I did some grocery pickup because you know we're under quarantine. I love staying in this house anyway. <laughs> I don't mind not having to get out. We have had to change some plans because we have to be here. And my sister in law, bless her heart. She got quarantined right along with us, so we're all three sick people here. So wherever you are in this world, I sure hope you're not unwell in any way. And I sure hope you're working on a project today. Today's Friday, September the 22nd. And like I said, I've got 22 rows to go. I'm making this a 1X. You know what? When I went to the doctor yesterday, I had gained 10 pounds in five months. That's not good. I've had knee replacement. I need to keep my weight off. And I have high blood pressure. And I had got my blood pressure medicine reduced way down. 10 pounds makes a big difference, right? So I've got to get that weight off. But I don't want to go on any crazy diet right now while I'm trying to get over COVID, but I can't taste anything. <laughs> I guess that's good, right? If you're trying to cut back, that's not that, that's not a bad thing sometimes. 
I can taste salt and sweetness and sour. I can't smell much and I can't taste anything, but those elements I can, I can, I can tell they're there. And yesterday, you know what I made, folks? I made a big old pot of potato and onion soup made with potatoes and onions. And what I did was I uh, caramelized the onions and then I put water and potatoes in there, you know, chunked up peeled potatoes. And I cooked that and I added some spices, some garlic powder, some onion powder, a little salt and pepper, and a half stick of butter. Oh yeah, butter makes everything better, right? Made a uh, made uh, uh, kind of a liquidy soup, and then I took my immersion blender and just blended the potatoes. I'm sure I got the onions too. I kind of wanted chunky onions, but that's okay. And I blended a little bit of that up, and I don't know what it tasted like, but it sure made my throat feel better. So that was what we had yesterday for lunch, and that's what we had. Well, nobody ate supper. Nobody's too sick, really. But we have it in the refrigerator. And uh, so I've just been doing a little laundry when I have to. I have been cooking and cleaning the kitchen up when I have to. And actually, I don't think I'm quite as sick as everybody else has been around here. So, <laughs> I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one because I refuse to let it get me down, you know? <sighs> Just keep pushing forward. Keep it going. I got too much to do, right? Well, I know I do. I messed that up like that. But this is a granny stitch. I love this little pattern. And I'm anxious to get this thing put together. Now this is, let me tell you about my yarn. This is Yarn B. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. And it's the Soft and Silk, Sleek, sorry. Soft and Sleek Chunky Low Peel Fiber. It's 211 yards, 5 ounces. It's washable. It's dryable. Uh, it recommends a... Sorry, folks, I got it upside down. Six millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a 6.5 and a 6.5 knitting needle. So today, or for this sweater, I'm using this tulip. My tulip, 6.5 millimeter. It, I ordered these. Now, these are my tulips. My pink tulips. I love these too, but it only goes up to a six millimeter, but I wanted the whole shebang. So I ordered by itself the 6.5 millimeter so I would have it. And this is my first instance to use it. And I really like it. It's so much like the clover. It's hard to tell a difference. It does have a little thumb rest right here where the clover doesn't. So I guess if you're a pencil grip, that's a good place to kind of put your thumb so you got something to anchor it on. But I really love it. It just crochets so well. And I love this fancy little case. This this was, I got this on sale. I think it was 70 something dollars. It's, it comes with these uh, real nice yarn needles, right? It comes with, now these scissors, they're wonderful scissors. But when I got these scissors, I hope you can see that, folks. Do you see all this was gold plated around here? Well, that tarnished or whatever it does, and <laughs> it, it came off. But they're still great scissors. They're real sharp. And you really do need something to put them in because they will, they will hurt you, okay? These are the kind that will hurt you. These are some little stitch markers that I got when I ordered a crochet hook online. Here's one of them. It's got the little, that kind of little clasp on it. Can you see that? Is my finger in the way? I don't know. I hope you can see it. And 
Oh, this is a little donut. Let's see, this is a donut uneaten. And this is a donut with a bite out of it. <laughs> and I just got them as free gifts. I ordered a, I'll have to show you sometime. I don't know where it is. A crochet hook from Etsy. And as a gift, she sent that. So I thought that was sweet. And I'll have to find that and find out where I got them exactly. Girl, because, uh, uh, girl, I just can't remember. I'm having short-term memory loss, it seems like. It's probably this illness. I don't know. Anyway. So I'm using the tulip on this project. And it just glides so smooth. They're just like the clovers. I like them. So I have a couple of sets of these tulips. I don't have the red ones. The red ones are very small. And I don't crochet anything that small. So I, I, I certainly had no need for those. So, no, it's not something that's going to be in my stash. But anyway, this is going to be a 1X. I'm going to link this pattern. And the tutorial I'm following is by Cinnamon Stitches. I, 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 I watch a lot of her tutorials. She's really excellent teacher. And I just follow right along with her. And I have the written pattern right here. Let me show you. Let me show you here. This pattern is from Premier. This is Premier's Granny Pullover. Can you see that? Granny Pullover. I don't really like the bottom she's wearing with that, but that's okay. This is a, just a picture of the sweater what it's going to look like. And this sweater, this sweater comes in so many sizes. Let's see. This sweater comes in. Oh yeah. A small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X. And if you watch Cinnamon Stitches tutorial, she'll teach you how to do body shaping. And make it any size, a 6X if you want, if you're bigger. She says it'll fit anybody. So, I'm going to link all this. And you might want to check it out if you're interested. Now, my sweater. Yeah, this is how to put it together. It shows you how it goes together and all. It's a really, well, like I said, I haven't finished it. But from what I've seen, it's a really great pattern. So, anyway, I'll link all that in my description, and if you want to, you can check it out. Uh, Tap Mama at the Beg Brigade, I'm going to link hers. She's making those sweaters, and I know she's selling some of hers. I don't know all the details, but if you'll go check her out, uh, she'll let you know. So, I'm just crocheting away. I've had three cups of coffee, so I've Phil got buzzed up a little bit this morning. You know, I went without my coffee. I was so ill. I didn't want it. I don't know. Couldn't taste it. And I still can't taste it, but I drank it. But I can tell I sweetened it. So it was nice and hot. And I've been drinking a lot of hot tea. And of course, that's good too with lemon. But I think I've had a headache for a the whole time I've been sick, but I thought it was from this COVID, and it probably is, but also I haven't been having my coffee, and you know how you are when, you, when you're used to your coffee every day, and you don't drink it? Yeah, you can get that coffee headache. So I, I fixed me a pot yesterday afternoon, late, really, and it's not, I don't usually drink my coffee late, but I got tired of having a headache. So I made me a pot of coffee. <laughs> it seemed to help a little. It could be my imagination. I don't know. But um, I'm all over the place this morning with this video. I guess y'all wondered where I was at. I kept thinking, boy, I'm just starting that channel. I got all these sweet subscribers that said they'd be with me. And I'm missing in action, right? Sorry about that, people. Life happens. But I'm hanging in there. 
I'm not gonna let this get me down. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. I got too much to do. And while I'm thinking about it, I gotta give you an update on my hand and my fingers. I gotta make a video soon apologizing to Premier Yarns because it wasn't Premier Yarns causing my fingers to be all messed up. It's just any yarn, I guess. Any four weight or five weight yarn. The three weights don't do it. But I had this all healed up and I started crocheting while I was sick a few days ago and it got back again. So I ordered some gloves. I try no, wait, wait, wait. What's that white glove? Oh, I don't know. I had a white oh here it is. I have this white cotton glove that I was trying to use, but you see how the fingers are? They got a seam on them and and the yarn, it doesn't I mean the yarn doesn't glide over this very well. And I was getting the tension I couldn't get it to work so I ordered some of these from Amazon and they fit I'm gonna try it on for you and show you see how tight that fits and I can work with my fingers and it slides smoother over this 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 is non latex I don't know what it is but vinyl I guess and, it, and these are extra small. I have small hands but very sh and very short fingers. So this works. <laughs> I'm so happy. I thought, am I going to have to give up crocheting? And I sure didn't want to. So no, I don't. No, I don't have to give it up. Knitting. Now knitting, you don't, you don't come in contact like that with these fingers. I mean, you're just like, you know... These are kind of benign down in here. You don't, you just use like, I just use this. These, my pinchers here. So anyway, I'm glad I figured that out. Thank goodness for that, right? I am thinking a little clearly anyway. So that's what that thumbnail was. It's about my blue gloves. I got some, some others coming too, set tomorrow. So we'll see. But I'm just like tr experimenting, trying to find what'll work. Cause I don't want to stop crocheting. I really like it. I'm liking it better than the knitting. It goes a lot faster and I can get projects done. So this is my first panel. This is called French Lilac, 211 yards. And I have 10 of these because I don't know. I just bought extra, right? I ordered it, I ordered it. I didn't really go in the store and buy it, so I just ordered extra. But my sweater is not going to have different colored sleeves. I'm just going to do my sweater just solid color. And like I told you, I think I told you, I gained 10 pounds. And I, I had just, I used to weigh 250 pounds when we moved here in 2019. And I lost all that weight, went down three sizes in my clothes, and now I've gained 10 pounds in five months. I should have been monitoring that. But as I said, if you can't taste anything and you can't smell much, I guess that'll help. That's what I figure anyway. Yeah. Oops, that was a little reminder. I have appointment on my calendar for follow-up my knee doctor after my knee replacements for tomorrow. I already called. I already called that place and rescheduled that for next week. Because there's there's no it's just a follow-up to see how my knee is is. And it's fine. I'm not gonna go out and expose anybody to my stuff. It's not urgent. I don't really feel like getting out anyway, right? Staying home. But I gotta get 10 pounds off. Yeah. Somehow, this is not good for my blood pressure. It was up. My clothes don't fit right. I'm uncomfortable. 
and the scale says I'm up, so I gotta get that down, but it's not a priority right now. I just gotta get well, really. But I've had a fever every day. We all have. Well, not my husband. He was in the hospital and got IV antibiotics right at first and steroids treatment right away, oral steroid. And he parked up and got to come home the next day. So he's kind of two days ahead of us on this illness. And then we got sick. But, yeah. I sure thank y'all for staying with me. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I have more content coming up. I have a lot of things I want to do. Like I said, I don't I don't have time to be sick. I got stuff planned. Man, I want to go man go. Or go woman go. I don't have time for this stuff. Mm -mm. I may be in my 70s, but I'm uh, I don't feel it in my mind. Yeah, sometimes my body does, yeah. But in my mind, I feel like a young lady. So tell me about what's going on. Is everybody staying well? I hope so. Let me know where you're at and what you're working on. and What you'd be interested in me showcasing on my channel. Do you like to come, you like to crochet in chats, or do you like, what do you like? I will try to, we could go into the kitchen sometime, and I could whip up some stuff. We can vary this channel up any way we want to. It's ours, right? It's mine. You tell me what you'd like, and we'll see, can we get it done? I can take you out on trips to town with this camera. I can do whatever. Folks, tell me what you're interested in. I'm interested in so much stuff. Oh, I've always wanted to do something new. Do something new. Start something new. Okay, well, this has gone on. I don't know how long this has gone on, but I'm going to end this. I'm going to go fill up my water cup. I've been trying to drink a lot of water. Oh, this is my new cup. My new cup. Yeah. I found this in a discount bin in one of the grocery stores. Let me get a drink. One second. Oh, yeah. I got this cup. And it, it's not a Yeti, but it keeps your... I haven't seen a difference. I have two yet. Three Yetis. But this was discounted because they were closing out some houseware... Or, I don't know how I don't know where it came from in their in their department, but they were like getting rid of some stuff, and this was four ninety nine. Hey, this is their brand. It says, but I'm sure that little grocery store didn't make this. I don't know who made it, but I like it. And I like the color of it, powder blue. Anyway, that's my new cup. I got that. Okay, my people, I love all of y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I read every one of them. Tell me about the questions I ask if, you, if you're up to it. Stay well. <laughs> we caught this in the ER, waiting in the waiting room for my sister-in-law. And the doctor told me yesterday when I went to the doctor, she said, okay, I think that's going to help you, your medicine. If you get worse, <clears throat> I'm sorry, or you don't get better, go to the ER. And I thought, that's where this started. I don't want to go back to the ER, right? Stay out of the ER if you can. Okay, it's a wrap here from this West Texas town. I love you. This is how the hook turns. Keep your hooks turning and your needles clicking. I love y'all. It's a wrap from here. Bye now, folks.